patients. Meet a Seri cultist. Silkworm razor to you. Miss Olive Aslett of Sydney has been experimenting for over 20 years with the little creatures that once provided silk for dresses and stockings, but now labour mainly for parachutes. The life cycle of a silkworm starts with a beautiful white moth, which lays about 300 eggs, mass production that will hatch out three months later. The eggs are just pinpoints, and at first the silkworms are extremely small, but once they get on a diet of mulberry leaves, they soon grow. They are fully grown in eight weeks, increasing in weight 9,000 times. If you watch, you can see the bloodstream pulsating through their greatly magnified bodies. When fully grown, the worm starts to spin itself a cocoon of pure silk, which comes from small holes under the mouth. It emerges as a liquid and solidifies immediately it comes into contact with the air. After they've finished spinning, they use the cocoon as a hibernation home. The completed cocoon is all silk, the strongest known material in the world for its weight. The spinning machine tests the strength of the silk. Water softens the sticky solution which binds the cocoon and makes the silk peel off more easily. From one cocoon comes three quarters of a mile of silk. Now let's return to the life of the occupant. Inside, the worm has changed into a chrysalis, a brown grub, which lies dormant as it gradually alters to a moth. Its work as a silk spinner is done. Now its mission in life is to emerge to lay more eggs. That is nature's cycle. The moth has wings but cannot fly. It has eyes but it is blind and will never see the beauty that is silk. Thank you.